a 15F locomotive is shunted over the ash pit to be lit up and prepared for tomorrow's trip, double heading with our larger sister 25NC. Reef Steamer's locomotive depot is an ancestral home of steam. There are still people here who are in love with steam operation. Steam has been a very important part of their history. I'm just polishing the, the loco for tomorrow's train. Now we got a, a WAP doing all the hard work to clean the boiler and all the brass. A reef steamers always take a clean engine out of the loco. We don't like dirty engines because the people doesn't want dirty locos. They want the bright and shiny locos on the train. That's why they are uh, coming to ride with reef steamers. Check up the wood, to let up the fire, and uh, also the waste. To, to help the fire burn. Okay, suck it clean away. And also suck it with the waste to lit up the fire. I must check my rever uh, the reverser. The reverser. Then I when I finish, I check my regulator. It's closed. Regulator. It's, when it's closed, I check the water at the gauge. My water is right. And then check the side. Fire bars are, are closed. Check there is no place he lack water or what. There are fixable plugs. Then I see it's right. Then I can, I can put the coals. I finish about coals and then I put the wood now <coughs> at the firebox. This is uh, a waste uh, with oil, paraffin to burn quick. I light now the, this one at the forge of this waste. Now we have to wait uh, about uh, an hour, hour and a half, that all the wood will be burned. And then you, before you open the fire or uh, take the trigger to open the, the fire to fill up the whole firebox, you need to um, put some more raw coal on it. So that will help to get more uh, fire, to get all the corners full up with fire, and then the steam will eventually get up in four, four, five hours time. Well, the reason why it takes so long is to save the boilers. Well, the boiler is very old. It's built in 1944. Uh, there was renewals around the time when the railways got it. Now when we got it, we normally renew a boiler certificate every three years. Okay, now it's about an hour wait before we can uh, open the fire and put some more coal on and another two hours maybe the steam will be coming up while waiting Saki joins other reef steamers in their beautifying effort to make the locomotive look like new this local is normally mechanical fire but to lit up the engine you used to use the, uh, the shovel Put some coal, raw coal, and, uh, and to, before you can lift up the engine. And as soon as steam will pick up, the mechanical circuit will start working. And this is a special mix that we make uh, up for to dolly the engine a little bit up to get it a little bit shiny. It's actually a mix of paint, paraffin, and some graphite. So you mix it, you must. He's staring all the time because otherwise the graphics will go down. I have to show more coal. So the, the reason therefore is to make a nice heap of coal, raw coal. So start as those coal and start burning. You can take the trigger and you can open the fire so that your corners can burn nicely to keep uh, the heat slowly and steady. Otherwise, if you uh, uh, 
chase the fire. Uh, those boilers won't last very long. And, and it's a nice thing to have, you see, there's still steam. But they're running for the next 100 years, that's what I feel about it. There's the jewelry for, for 3016 and all the other engines. Uh, actually, this uh, uh, ornament is very old. So I think this is nearby 100 years old. Like, uh, use the trigger to get a fire spread out now because it's burning through to get some more flames and things underneath the tube plate. That's actually where your steam begins. So I'm going to fire it a little bit up with some raw coal and leave it for another half an hour or so. While the 15F is slowly raising her steam, another team of reef steamers prepare the 25NC locomotive. I'm preparing the engine to light the fire now. What we do is we, we throw coal onto the grates and then we use old waste and, and wood and net enough to lit it up. We actually need a bit of paraffin or diesel. No sand running from the box, the pipe just robs it. Because I've just actually been through the engine and examined all these little chains and the grease pads. There are the chains on the grease pads and they're all okay, there's still plenty of chain um, still hanging down so the grease pads are still uh, safe to use. I'll also have to go through the engine and just examine everything underneath to make sure that there's no loose pins or bolts or split pins that's likely to fall out or a bolt that's loose is going to come out and cause prob problems on the engine on the journey. Uh, what I'm doing here is adjusting the brakes, just tightening them up a little bit because as the shoes wear, you get more and more travel in the motion, which means that that lever on the vacuum chamber gets shorter and shorter till eventually you've just got no brakes. So we just have to keep a regular adjustment on here. Just to keep the brakes working properly. By late afternoon, 15F's got a full head of steam and Pete takes her to the coal stage. Fifteen F number 3016 was built in 1944 by the North British Locomotive Company. It has a 482 wheel arrangement, popularly known as the mountain type. The Class 15F was the workhorse of the South African Railways, with 255 being built between 1938 and 1948. This was the most numerous steam locomotive class in Africa. Later on, the 25NC follows the coaling procedure. With the locos ready for steaming, they are being driven back to the depots to be stabled for the night. Early hours of the morning, shadowy figures on the footplate paint a ghostly picture. Mr. Stoker shovels in some coal and we're ready to go.
Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hit the bell down below to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for your support.